we are going to demonstrate putting in the insulated box blind. For extreme panels, this is what we use to connect panel to panel, and it's an insulated piece. It's simply the width of the foam, so it slides right in here. Notice the E on here. It's for an electrical chase. And this electrical chase will match up with this chase once it's put in. We have these, these come in standard 8 foot lengths. So if you have a 9 or a 10 foot wall, you'll have to cut a little chunk on the top. Um, but note when your panels come, there will be no E or E on them. The ones with no E are the ones for above with no electrical chases in them. So we're simply going to glue our panel together like we have been. Everything, if, if you're wondering if it needs glue on it, yes, put SIP seal on. It has to go everywhere. Gluing up and down both sides. Put it in the middle. Have a continuous bead everywhere. Oh, look at that. You got to connect them. Okay, the critical dimension here is an inch and a half. And look, we have exactly an inch and a half. That is what's sticking out. Notice on these box blinds, we've eased the edges. So all four edges are eased. Um, these are the one thing when they come out that need to be uh, water protected. Put a tarp over it, do something to get these so they're not, so they don't take on moisture. Um, having these edges routered will make, it'll compress the edge, but you get high humidity and a lot of moisture and you will find that you wanna, you'll be pushing these in a little bit, uh, a little more. Now I'm gonna glue down the spline again. I haven't fastened that yet because we really don't need to. We're simply just gonna put it in there, let the glue do its trick. Now we're gonna glue along it. And another trick is to put the glue on the edge, as close to the edge as you can. It'll just pro provide a little lubrication for it. Here we're gonna switch the glue again. This SIP seal, once you use it, I tell you what, you'll want it for other projects around the house. We're gonna tee up here again, come down, tee down here at the bottom, sealing all that joint, and then one more bead here on the inside. Okay, now we are ready. We have got panel number one here, which is 24 feet long. We have panel number two, which is 22 foot 11 inches long which make this whole one wall. We virtually have a full wall that is solid foam, except for around the doors, around the windows, bottom plate and top plate. That is fantastic. Normal construction, you would be every 16 inches on center with lumber, and you'd have a bottom plate and a double top plate. Here we'll have a bottom and a double top plate, but we've omitted every stud within the wall. But we also have a stronger wall. It's double the strength of a two by wall. Then if you were to take insulation into question, we'd have an R19 with a 2x6 fiberglass wall. Then if you took all those studs into consideration, you would have an 11 to 13 R value. Here you're getting a true R25 to 26. And the colder the temperatures, the better this wall will perform, which is why it's so good in, in hot and cold climates. It doesn't matter. So now I'm going to continue to glue along my bottom plate because they're rigging up the next panel which is coming in. And I'm going to glue here because they're going to be ready for me by the time I get done. We're going to install box blinds into this center panel. This is the center of our gable end and we actually have 12 going to 13 which has a window cut into it. Part of the window is coming into, into this panel here. But we're simply going to show you how to install these box blinds into these. Pretty simple. Again, making sure your electrical chase is always toward the inside of the wall, and we're flushing that up with the foam. 
without trying to get glue all over our hands, just like I just did there. But now we're simply going to screw these every six to eight inches on center. And if we were stapling, we'd be doing three to four inches. If we were nailing it, we'd be going six, and we can go six to eight with the screws. Just pushing it in, just to want to, you want to make sure you got that inch and a half gap, which were perfect. Everything's an inch and a half. And we'll do the bottom of that one here shortly. We'll just videotape one more here for you. We already we cut our, our angle. This is the 412 pitch. So we cut that on there, making sure that our setback's an inch and a half here for the window bucking, and we have a good setback here. We're perfect. So again, we'll screw that together just like we have been. One more piece of the jigsaw. This is panel number 12. 